The audit is aimed at improving police transparency and accountability. There were several main takeaways in the findings. One recommendation is to address the use of force. To develop a force investigation team with special expertise in investigating use, serious uses of force. The audit also recommends random review of body-worn camera footage. Another key finding deals with responding to mental health calls. This incident two years ago, where a call for a man throwing rocks ended with a deadly shooting as that man armed with a knife charged a responding police officer. Better train and equip all officers as initial responders to deal with individuals experiencing a mental health crisis. Something the county executive who commissioned the audit acknowledges is critical. Um, our officers are basically feeding the largest mental health institution in, in the county, which is our jail. Some of the other recommendations deal directly with training and retention, and the county's already announced a program of training and evaluation before recruitment. Now, the audit also recommends better wellness assessment of officers' well-being with an eye toward early warning and intervention, looking at things like unexcused officer absences. We don't want people to think it's a disciplinary tool. Most of these recommendations will require data to point to problems and track the effectiveness of solutions and to establish more public transparency. We've done it through our records management systems that were established and many of them were antiquated to some degree. The audit reflects a reality of modern police work, new challenges. But continuous improvement is essential to maintaining pace with constantly changing environmental circumstances and public expectations. In Montgomery County, Derek Ward, News 4. All right, the nonprofit consulting organization Effective Law Enforcement for All, Inc., helped conduct the audit.